Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to me, Sal 3.0. Some new things have been added, and some things have been changed. Specifically, the boys' route has changed the most, with a true ending being added. So that's the route I'll be playing. Huh? Misao? Is that... Misao? No. That can't be Misao. Misao died in some kind of tragic anime accident when she ran too fast with toast in her mouth. W was I dreaming? I thought I heard Misao. I... I guess it was just a dream. It's been three months. Yikes. Look at the time. I'm going to be late for school. Miss Sal never stood out too much in our class. She was just a simple girl, really, who really liked toast in her mouth. I wasn't very close with her, but I was curious about that girl, always alone. I thought I might be her friend, but that didn't happen, because I got totally friend-zoned. Three months back, Miss Sal went missing. She never came to school, and she hadn't come home, either. She never seemed the type to flee home. Our parents were saying that she might have gotten involved in something. I'm off. All her classmates gossiped about how she was probably already dead. Misao. Gosh, I hope you're okay. Wait, son, you forgot your toast! Oh, no! Nothing better than my seat. Taken from the back, by the window. So, here. And then you have... Soda, the attractive teacher of Aki's class. Popular with students for his generosity. Mr. Soda's as cool as ever. The voice I heard in my dream. Was that Miss Ao? And what does our teacher's name remind me of the word soda? How can anyone think that's cool? You've got guts to ignore my lecture. <coughs> well, this information will be essential for the test, so you'd better listen. S sorry Man, I really made a fool of myself. This is totally going to be all over Facebook. It's going to be really embarrassing. And there's going to be a total lot of likes on it. Mr. Sona has a new suit. Like, whoa. Super suave. Aki's best friend. A fan following girl who looks up to Mr. Sona. Talking up Mr. Sona again, Aika. Don't you ever get tired of it? But he's such a ladies' man. He's so nice. And smart, and he's got a stupid name that sounds like Soda. Oh yeah, gotta use some hand cream. Do, 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 butter up my pooper. Did you hear? I did. There's a rumor Mrs. Soda has a hand fetish, like a certain seal killer from a certain manga that involves strange people and strange bizarre adventures, and they have really cool hats. So maybe if I clean my hands constantly every day all the time, he'll like me more. Huh. You know, that reminds me. That was a character a lot like Dio and uh, Mad Father. And he's a bit like Kira. Huh. I never really put that two and two together. I couldn't care less. Huh. Boys will be boys. You would rather go for Satome, the teacher, huh? What does Satome have to do with this? I always see you eyeing here. Really. What do you even see in such a kid? I also know you stalk her on Facebook. 
you're doing one of me, if you're telling anyone, you better give me the money. H hey, I didn't say I liked anybody. I just think she's very pretty. Really? <laughs> really? Really? I have to apologize, I've played this game about three times now, so I'm not going to take it too serious. Although the punt was never quite serious to take in the first place. There's been some spooky paranormal business going on at this school. I'm getting a little freaked. Paranormal my ass. Aki's classmate. A boy carefree in appearance, personality, and everything. I'm for real. It's for real. The other day, a kid in the other class got dragged away in the bathroom. Aki's classmate. Leader of the bullies. There was also that glass in the third floor hallway being broken from inside. Kudo. Aki's classmate. A calm, early maturing youth who will grow up to be Spike Spiegel. Gonna be ghosts. Eek! I'm scared! Satome, Aki's classmate. Just Otome for short. Toma's girlfriend. Ghosts, huh? Dumbass. Those don't exist. Wait, what if this is Miss Sao's curse? Look, this is no time for jokes. But, I mean, it's totally possible. And if we talk about it right now, something spooky might happen and we'll get transported to another world like in that other game involving corpses and parties. Those events are Masao's curse. Then Oshino will be cursed sooner or later. Huh? Whatever I do. Yoshino, you did bully Masao a lot. Bullying? Why, I never. I was just making a little fun. And Tomo always screwed with Miss Sal. You're the one who get cursed. Me? Huh, I'm fine. Miss Sal looked up to me. And by that I mean literal, because I was taller than her. I wonder. I wonder what my career will be like in the future, when I get a spaceship. Toma? I'm scared. I mean, I'm your girlfriend. You sound might have a grudge. Oh yeah, she's actually gonna murder you. Don't swing it, Natomi. I'll protect you. With my hard 20 pounds soaking wet weight. Huh, you're so nice, Toma. Huh, do what you like, lovebirds. Isao, please don't curse us. The rest are fair game, though. Oops, did I say that out loud? Gah! <laughs> An earthquake? No, that's just spooky stuff happening. Wh what? It got dark outside right quick. What the heck's going on? Maybe. Just maybe. He really is Misao's curse. He sounds real mad at us. Sh shut up. What the hell? I was just kidding about that curse crap. Uh. Aki? Oh no. You fools. You talked about spooky things in the classroom. Is that Misao? I can hear her speaking to me. Oh, now it's gotta be her. Shut it. I don't hear her damn voice. Aki, you're talking crazy talk. I I'm not. Ah. That's a perfectly logical reason for this. It says voices coming from the speaker. And we're still in the classroom and it's an elaborate prank. M Miss Sal. And that's just special effects. And us falling for the void is just some kind of new amusement park prototype. <laughs> Misao. Ah, you've finally come to.
Wh where am I? I was in the classroom earlier. And who are you? I am Onigawara, a student council president, and this is the student council room. Do not question why I have red eyes, or why I have pointy ears, and why I am so bold for being a student council president, and most likely a teenager. Luckily for you, you've ended up somewhere safe. Ended up? After the earthquake, the school was sucked into another world. This sent those inside flying all across the school. Another world? What do you mean? And also, why did... Well, it's a curse. It is a result of a girl's curse that this school was sealed in the other world. Oops, I hit the skip button. Hmm. Nothing too important. President Onigawara! Oh, my toasty! <laughs> I finally made it. I thought I was a goner. Look at these cute, cute, swirly eyeglasses. They're my trait. So, you finally return. Miss Library. She is the school's vice president. Always in the library. So that's what we call her. So then, Miss Library, how does it look? It's messed up and gunked up and funked up. It's totally disco fever and it's awesome. The foundation, everything is wrecked and I haven't been able to find any exits. The only exit I found was the ending of John Travolta's career. Whew, ouch. Plus, evil spirits are going and attacking people. I saw a student killed before my eyes. I'll never be able to eat hamburgers again. Oh, it was frightening. So I see. Thank you for your report. You may retire for now. Yes, well, I'm going back to the library. Call me any time you need me. She's really fast. Evil spirits. The curse must have summoned them. The school is now a den of spirits, and there's nowhere to run. Not good. There's only one solution. Undoing the girl's curse. There's surely no other way. Uh, how do I undo a curse? By saving the girl's soul. Mr. Aki, you must know what it is you have to do. Do I? And make it real obvious for him. Here's this ghostly voice coming down from the sky. Do you get it now, kid? No? Can you give me another message? Yeah, Miss Al's calling for me. Huh. So I need to find her. Miss Onigawara, I'll go look for Miss Al. So you will. As the library informs me, the school's full of evil spirits. And yet you wish to go. I will, because Miss Al is my friend. Understood. You are entrusted with the fate of the school. I believe you can do it. And I believe I made you totally fail and die many times over. But I will have a good laugh. And then I will have a good hamburger. See, I'm not bothered by ghosts and people dying. I contrast that library girl. If you encounter any trouble, pay a visit to the library on the second floor. She will try her best to help. If you wish to make a record, please talk to me. I will do so for you any time. We call it save pointing. What's save pointing? It's a concept that existed back when we didn't have quick saves and auto saves every second. Wow, that sounds stupid. No, it was totally awesome. I pray for your safety. Alright, now we just gotta remember what we have to do. So there should be a new friend in our locker, and we got some new sprites here. We want to look in the lock clocker. Trapped in the locker, can't seem to find my way out. So I pull out my gun? Sir! <sighs> Thank goodness. Let me. 
feign fear, despite having a completely serious face. <sighs> I'm beat. I passed out after that quake, and I woke up locked in a locker. Naturally, it's designed not to be opened from the inside. The school looks odd. I'm going to look around. Sir, it's dangerous here. He left. Is he going to be okay? This is a locker key. Soda must have dropped it. Locker just wait one. Oh shit. I'm on to your game, punk. Eika, good, you're safe. Aki, you're just in time. Now's a chance of a lifetime. Since nobody's around, we're free to look at Mr. Soda's desk. Damn it, Aika. There's no time for that. Look at what's happening to the school. To be honest, it's totally radical. That's a word we still use. Don't question it. Look, top drawer. Packed with love letters to Mr. Soda. It's totally wizard. Who dares? Who is it who dared to send love letters to my Mr. Soda? Let's find out what they wrote. Aiga, it really doesn't matter. Let's get somewhere safe. No way. I can see everything. I haven't looked in the bottom drawer. You can pass up the opportunity, but I won't. Don't say I didn't warn you. Hmm. Huh. It's pretty tasteful. Hmm. Hmm. Wait a minute. Is that new? Oh, shit! Oh! That was one hell of a tomato ketchup and tomato juice party. And salsa, too! I'm really glad I went in there. They were such nice fellows to invite me to their tomato juice, tomato, salsa, and, uh, uh red paint party. And some of our other things are red we can use. What the? He's in new lockers. I hear something. This is all new. <laughs> See, I can do it too. You think you're so special, bub? Was that guy even human? Carrying a chainsaw around. The school sure ain't normal. Don't want that guy to come after me, or I'd be done for. I think it's pretty normal enough. It's just cosplaying. Fuck it. It's tradition. Aki, help me! Why you? Don't screw with me! When I get out of here, I'll... Just wait. I'll untie you. Phew. Thank you. You're a good guy after all. Way cooler than that kudo jerk! That's new, uh, face art to, uh, properly describe the fear she's going through. Yoshino, you're always picking on people weaker than you. That's bullying, you know. Huh? What? What's this about? Can you promise me something? If I don't- if I untie you and don't let you get sawed up in half, will you stop bullying people? That's exactly what he says, in so many words. Alright. Jeez, sure. I won't do it. Now help me out of here. He's gonna come back if you don't hurry. Who? <laughs> Eek! He's here! With his generic evil laugh!
What can I do? I gotta stay calm. I know I won't be able to help Eugenio if I get caught. And I also want to save my ass. For now, I gotta save my ass. Where can I go and save my ass? I think I'm gonna go in here to save my ass. Ugh, I'm gonna barf. But at least I totally feel like Luke Skywalker right now. What's that sound? Raindrops keep falling on my head. Dun, dun, dun. Na, 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 You've also turned into tomato juice. Oh no. How could this happen? I'm sorry I couldn't save you. Let's see, I disable that afterwards. Oh, I get disabled right now. Go into the phone. Come, my pet. Come. Come faster. Come. Yes, good. This way. No, this way. Not that way. This way. <laughs> ah, I remember this puzzle. Boot disk. Wasn't it like a death if I went back here? <laughs> oh, yeah. I should go visit the library, girl. You can now use the warp function. <laughs> you were in the student council room. Um, uh huh. Moe. I mean, Hey, I'm Aki. Er, Miss Library? Oh, you remember my name. I'm so glad. Oh, how many years has it been since I've talked to anyone? Huh? Aki, please be my friend. Uh, already? Oh, you don't want to? Really? I I'm so glad. You're my first friend. This library is pretty awkward, though it's kind of cute in some ways. Tell me your real name, so I can stalk you on Facebook. Wait, what? You didn't hear anything. Well then, Mr. Aki, please, give me an easier name. Yes, I want a marvelous name. What? Oh gosh, what's it gonna be? Moe. Well, uh... Here's a little secret. I don't really like that name. But I'm fine with it, if that's what you want. Uh, friend, that sounds good. Well, I've got to be going. Things to do and all. I can stalk you on Facebook. Aki, if you're running to trouble, please come visit me. I don't know how useful I can be, but I do what I can to help. All right. Thanks. Ah, it's just all the stuff I already know. Some of the old dialogue. Foreshadowing. More puzzle solutions. Really obvious allusions to a certain character from another game.
There's also the portrait of the mother right there, and a pet. I mean, not the pet, the uh, stuffed animal that was in the room. Grab some lilies. And I can't use the bed. Oh, well. And that's why you should never read books or go to the library. There we go. Hmm. All right. Now we have a bat, which somehow is able to break boulders. A very strong bat. And I. Uh, there we go. He looked almost like a damn katana coming out. Right there. Right there. And there we go. I offer my blood to the blood gods. Skulls for the skull throne. Well, should we be anger? Now, let's not get us ahead of ourselves, Aki. It's just a number of person's head. This couldn't be. No, I won't think about. I'll just have to collect them all. Let's see if her the girl Aki. There we go. They're waiting on the rooftop for us. I wonder if Senpai finally noticed me. Senpai, did you finally notice me? Oh no. I guess you did. Ah. Wait, this is new. Is it? I don't remember. I believe I'm Batman! Oh wait, no I'm not- Ah! <laughs> oh, things not to really do on a rooftop. Never follow after the ghost girl. As tempting it is. And the of the idea that you might start some kind of weird comedy horror romance with a ghost girl in some kind of school, like certain animes. Oh fuck it, go for it. Na, 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 na. You found overused joke. And that's it for Misao 3.0 Part 1. So it's mostly the same trip, but so far we have found some new things. So I guess it's only improvement, I guess. I'm not really going to talk about the story or anything. I think everyone knows what goes on here. So I'll just keep it short. Anyway, so thank you all for watching and stay tuned for Misao 3.0 Part 2.